Hey everybody! Today I'm going over how to expose the Steam ID into Blueprints. So I have a project where um, this where Steam isn't enabled. So I'm gonna do that real quickly. I'm going to Plugins, look for Online Subsystem Steam, select it and close it. The next thing I want to do is I want to go and make a new C++ class. And in my case, it's a blueprint function library, which I'm going to call BPF, BPFL and then Steam. And I'm just going to create that class. After we've done this, the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our source and in our do do in our build.cs file, we need to add a few things. I already have online subsystem here, but if you don't, you should just be able to uncomment it to get it. But what we need to add up here is the first thing will be, let me please, there we go, will be online subsystem. Online sub system comma then we need online subsystem steam online sub oh no not subsystem steam but up, sub, sub, subsystem utils and then we need steamworks steamworks is very important for what i'm gonna do to get the data good after we're done with this, we can just go over here in config and in our default engine INI. In here, the first thing I want to add is, well, I'm gonna put this all in the description so you can just copy paste it. But this is pretty much just to initialize the Steam API. And one thing I shouldn't forget in the target.cs, I need to, no, in the target CS, I need to add B uses Steam to true. After I'm done with this, I'm going to head over into the function library I made a second ago. And here, what I want to start with is I want to make First of all, I need to set this public so I can access it everywhere. And I want to make it a U function. And I want to make it blueprint callable. Blueprint callable. There we go. And static. F string. F string. And I'm going to call this function get steam ID by string. And just put a semicolon after it. And right here, I'm going to right click on and create an implementation. So, and what we want to do first is we want to add our return right here. We're going to populate it in a second. But first, I want an F string, which will be our return value. Let me properly initialize it. There you go. And I'm just initializing it as null. There we go. And down here, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, I need to also add an R in there. Okay. So now I have the F string I'm gonna parse all my information into. So then the first thing I want to do is I want to check if the Steam API is initialized oh and i need to also go in here and in, include my steam api so i'm going into third party steamworks steam sdk public steam and then steam steam api dot h so I just want to include the header file. 
and in here I will make some space and the next thing is I want to get a uint64 which is a 64-bit um, unsigned integer because the steam ID is very long and with a normal integer we would get an overflow so you want to initialize it well we first I want to call it and I'm gonna call it SID or steam ID and we initialize it with zero then we want to get a steam ID which I'm just gonna call in steam ID and we are gonna use steam user and get steam ID and down here we get we get uh, we're taking our SID and we are setting that equal to in steam ID convert to u, u integer 64 so what we get here we get the steam id as a uh, c steam id struct and then we just um get and then we just convert that struct into a u integer 64 so an unsigned integer with 64 bits okay then we want to check if we ran into any issues so we're going to take our SID and check if it equal is equal to zero and on else we want to take our return value and equal it to f string print f text and in the text we want to get a percent and an LLU for that stands for long long unsigned so a long long unsigned integer so I think uh, so just in uint64 and then we take our SID because we want to convert that number into a string then up here if we actually have a null uh, we want to set our return value to something in my case I'm just gonna set it to that steam ID I'm not even sure if that ever can happen that it will actually null out but I'm just gonna um, err on the side of caution and just add this and then on we have a if statement up here there we check if we are connected to steam and we will also want to do something on else so if you run in pid steam will never initialize and it will be good to actually get some feedback that it didn't initialize so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my return value and equal it to something like no connection to steam initialized there you go and then we pretty much just return and that's it so let's just run this and I can close this so let me look really quickly get steam by string get steam ID by string okay then I wait till it's loaded up and I'm just gonna really quickly make a new blueprint class which is gonna be a game mode gm main and then i'm gonna make a character which will just to be to display that it works at char main and then what we what i want to do is on begin play get steam id by string and i want to print that out so in this case I'm just gonna take my game mode, put my character in it, in it, and then just plug this into here. And if I click play, nothing happens because it auto possesses this player. So let me just do, do, do. disable that auto possess. There you go. We don't want auto possess. So if we click play now. We see we have no connection to Steam because we ran in PID. 
But if we go into standalone mode, we see we I get my Steam ID. And also, let me make it so it actually prints to log so I can see it and check if it's actually my Steam ID. It should print to log. Did it print to log? You know what, I'm just gonna set the duration to 100 seconds or 1000 seconds so it definitely stays up. So if I click play here and open Steam in the meantime. Um, doo -doo -doo. I can see my Steam ID is the same here as it is here. So it successfully pulled my Steam ID from Blueprint. And with that said, I'm going to end the tutorial here. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. But with that said, I hope you all have a great day and goodbye.